Hello everyone. So we continue with the first lecture. So recall that we talked about vectors, the dot product of vectors, matrix product so far. And now let us look at, let's go to the slides. So I also mentioned to you that elements of Rn, points of Rn, what is a point in Rn? A point in Rn is an interpol. So for example, if you take R3, 1 minus 1, 1 is a point in R3. Now this 1 minus 1, 1 will be written as a column vector. It will be written as a column wise 1 minus 1 and 1. It will be written as a 3 cross 1 matrix. So elements in Rn will always be written as a column matrix or a column vector with n entries. Right? So it's an n cross 1 matrix. Now, a map from now let us consider a function from Rn to R. A function from Rn to R is called linear. It's called linear if it has the form f of x equal to a1x1 plus a2x2 plus dot 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 plus a n x n for a certain constants a1, a2, a n. The aj's are the arguments of the function, the entries, the variables as it were. So what is the input? So the input is a column vector x1, x2, dot, 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 xn. And the output is a1, x1 plus a2, x2 plus dot, 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 plus a n, xn. This is an example of a linear function. A function is linear if and only if it is of this form. Now what we can do is the following. We can take the same linear function and you can think of it as f of x equal to a x, where x, the bold face x, is a column vector and the matrix look at the row look at the row vector a1 a2 a n as a row that the a is a one cross n matrix x is an n cross one matrix the product a x is a one cross one or a real number so this function f of x equal to a1 x1 plus a2 x2 plus dot 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 plus a n x n can be written as f of x equal to a x now, remember that you could have a function from Rn to R squared. What is the function from Rn to R squared? The input will be a call, uh, will be x1, x2, xn. Input is a column x1, x2, xn. The output consists of two real numbers, right? It's it's the target space. The codomain is R2. So the output consists of two entries. So the first entry again elements of R2 is going to be written as a column vector. Elements of R2 is going to be written as a column vector consisting of two entries. The first entry could be a1 x1 plus a2 x2 plus dot 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 plus a n x n. And the second entry could be b1 x1 plus b2 x2 plus dot 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 b n x n. But this, but this whole thing, this pair, this column, whose first entry is a1 x1 plus a2 x2 plus dot 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 plus a n x1 and second entry is b1 x1 plus b2 x2 plus dot 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 b n x n is again conveniently written as f of x equal to a x. This time a is a matrix with two rows. a1 a2 a n is a first row, b1 b2 b n is a second row. It is a two cross n matrix and the input and the x is a n cross one matrix. So the output is a two cross one matrix. So more generally, the slide says more generally, given any m cross n matrix A, given any n, m cross n matrix A, m rows and n columns, I can convert this matrix into a mapping, into a linear mapping or a linear transformation or a linear function from Rn to Rm, Rn to Rm, namely x maps to Ax. Remember this last this last line via x, this arrow with a little with a little vertical uh, with, a, with a little vertical tail, this arrow with a little vertical tail uh, is to be should, should be read as maps to maps to x maps to a x. So this viewpoint allows us to study matrices geometrically. Okay, you see, I would like to while we are at it. I would like to emphasize a couple of things. When you are describing a function, a function comes equipped with three pieces of data. 
a domain, a codomain, and a rule. Here the domain is Rn, the codomain is Rm, and the rule is x maps to Ax. So this rule is a matrix is a matrix product x maps to Ax. One one of them is a fixed matrix matrix of constants m cross n matrix, and the other is the just a minute please. So the matrix is M cross N matrix and the domain is Rn and the codomain is Rm and the rule is X maps to Ax. So this viewpoint allows us to study matrices geometrically. Now let us look at a couple of examples on this. Let us look at a couple of examples on this. So examples on matrices. Uh, as linear transformations. So vectors in Rn will always be written as columns, as I said written here. If A is an n cross n matrix, we can convert A into a function f of x equal to ax. Let us look at a simple example. I'm taking a 2 by 2 matrix cos pi by 3 minus sin pi by 3 sin pi by 3 cos pi by 3. So it's a 2 by 2 matrix. So the input is going to be what? Input is going to be a 2 cross 1 matrix, a column, x1, x2, and the output is again going to be a column, 2 cross 1 matrix. So what is, the, what is the rule? f of x equal to ax, cos pi by 3 x1 minus, do the matrix multiplication, cos pi by 3 x1 minus sin pi by 3 x2, sin pi by 3 x1 plus cos pi by 3 x2. You can think of this geometrically as rotation of the plane by angle pi by 3 fixing the origin. So rotation of a plane can be thought of as matrix multiplication. Let us look at a second example. The second example is a matrix A equal to 1, 3, 0, 1. The corresponding map from R2 to R2 is given by f of xy. So input is a column x comma y. The output is a column. Do the matrix multiplication x plus 3y and y. This is this would be called as a shearing transformation. This would be called a shearing transformation. So let us do the following. Let us try to understand what will be the image of the square. You got a function. The domain is R2, the codomain is R2. Correct? The domain is R2. I can take the square with vertices 0, 0, 1, 0. 0, 1 and 1, 1. Take this unit square. What happens to the unit square? What happens to 0, 0? 0, 0 simply goes to 0, 0. Correct? What happens to 1, 0? x is 1, y is 0. Then the output is 1, 0. What happens to 0, 1? x is 0 and y is 1. What happens? The answer is 3, comma. Answer is 3, comma 1 x is 0 and y is 1. So you can check and here is an exercise for you. Check that the image of the square with vertices 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1 is a parallelogram. The image is a parallelogram. Check that the area of the parallelogram and the area of the square are both the same. Draw the parallelogram. Show that this parallelogram and the square have the same base. They are the same base and they have the same height. This is an example of a shearing transformation. Third example is lambda 0 0 lambda. So what is the mapping? Input is x comma y. The column vector x comma y. The output will be do the matrix multiplication lambda x lambda y. That's an example of a similarity transformation. Similarity. In both the directions, in all directions, you are scaling by a factor of lambda. This is called a similarity transformation or a dist, I mean, enlarging a photograph. For example, you can think of enlarging a photograph. You've got a small photograph, you want to make a large copy. 
but you don't want to distort but you don't want to upset the aspect ratio right you don't want to mess up with the aspect ratio A aspect ratio should be maintained so in the x direction and the y direction the scaling factor is the same lambda so this is like a, this is an example of a similarity transformation so lots of examples can be given of matrices which we can think of matrices as linear transformations from rn to rm and we can describe the geometrical properties we can try to relate the geometrical properties of this mapping with the algebraic properties of the matrix a we shall see several examples of this kind of thing as we go along okay so for example here are a number of examples there are more examples so you here now you are taking the map you now you are taking the matrix which is a 2 cross 1 matrix you are taking a 2 cross 1 matrix and and then you convert that into a linear map it will be a linear map from r to r2 and then draw the image the the domain is r and the code uh, find out the points of the code domain for example take a few points in the real uh, in, uh, in the real line take zero take the image of zero take the image of one take the image of two take the image of t the image of t is going to be t comma minus t the straight line here is another example he has taken a 3 cross 3 uh, uh, cross 2 matrix and 3 cross 2 matrix is a linear transformation thinking of it a linear transformation it's a 3 cross 2 matrix so input is going to be a 2 cross 1 vector so it's going to be a linear transformation from r2 to r3 so linear transformation is r2 to r3 and this linear transformation is b this he is calling the matrix b b of u comma v is u minus v minus u plus 2v v so what uh, so this is a linear transformation from r2 to r3 the image is going to be a plane the image is going to be a plane in r3 describe this plane in r3 this plane in r3 so for example call so call the entries as x y z call the output entries as x y z the input entries have been called u v so what is x u minus v what is y minus u plus 2 v what is z v eliminating uh, eliminating u and v he is getting an equation x plus y minus z equal to 0 so the image the, the, the points x y z all lie on this plane x plus y minus z equal to 0 so that's the another example of linear transformations <clears throat> you know thinking geometrically there is a shear tra shearing transformation 1 0 0 1 so now the, there we, we took 1 3 0 1 here is taking 1 0 0 1 and the image of the unit square again it's going to be a parallelogram find the image of the unit circle find the image of the unit circle find the image of the unit disk the set of points within the circle under this map from r2 to r2 for example so what do you guess the guess uh, what what is your guess the the circle x square plus y square equal to 1 will go over to an ellipse it's so what is the first of all what is the mapping a of xy equal to x plus y y when you multiply by this matrix and call the output uv and so that means that x will be u minus v y will be v and so wherever the so x square plus y square equal to 1 would mean u square minus 2uv plus 2v square equal to 1 and that's an ellipse and the image of the unit disk will be the ellipse interior of the ellipse interior of the ellipse it, it, the elliptic lamina enclosed by the ellipse u square plus 2v square minus 2 2uv equal to 1 so the and i'd like you to check i'd like you to find the area of this ellipse and compare it to the area of the circle i'd like you to compare the area of the ellipse and check it with the area of the circle and what do you get first i want you to calculate the area of the rectangle uh, or the parallelogram the image is a parallelogram with these vertices the area of the parallelogram is going to be the area of the unit square namely both areas will be one Now think about the following. Instead of taking the unit square zero less than x less than one zero less than y less than, if I take a square of side two, suppose I take zero less than x less than two and zero less than y less than three, then what will be the area of the image parallelogram? That's the next question that you should think about. Instead of taking the instead of taking the square with vertices 
zero zero one zero zero one etc. If I take some other square, if I take any other square whose sides are parallel to the coordinate axis, I take any other square whose sides are parallel to the coordinate axis, and again do the compute the area of the parallelogram. Uh, compare the areas. Compare the two areas. Now, now without doing any without doing any integration, without messing around with any integration, could you have guessed that the area of this elliptic region is also going to be the same as the area of the circular region? Could you have guessed this? Please think about it. Please think about it and ask me during the. Interactive session that we shall have on Thursdays. Every Thursday we will have a live interaction session. Please keep your doubts ready and please ask. So we got all these uh, examples, and uh, we can come up with number of such uh, questions. Uh, here are some. Uh, here are these are some of the examples, and very soon I will be giving you. I'll be giving you uh, an assignment sheet. I'll be uploading an assignment sheet on Moodle, for example. So let me just show you. Just give you a sneak preview. Okay. So let me just see. Uh, let me give you a sneak preview of that. So I'll have to download it. Um, yeah. Let me just give you one one particular um, example. Uh, so take this. Take a um, Take a plane. Take this plane x plus y. Take this plane x plus y minus z equal to zero. There is a nice. You have a plane here. It's a plane in R three. Now let us look at the mapping from R three to R three. Let us take a mapping from R three to R three. Hmm. And let us ask for the reflection. Let us ask for the reflection about this plane. That's a mapping from where to where. R three to R three. What is the mapping? The mapping is from R three to R three. T from R three to R three. T takes the point P one, P two, P three. T takes the column vector P one, P two, P three, and the output is the mirror image. Mirror image where the mirror is placed along this plane. Mirror is placed along with uh, uh, along this plane. That map that mapping from R three to R three. Can you describe it in terms of matrices? Can you describe that in terms of matrices? Try to think about it. It's an interesting question. So this completes the material for the uh, first uh, lecture, lecture one B. I think we'll stop this lecture here.